Welcome kids once again to Take No Prisoners. My name is Jerry and what, what's your name again? Biff Hannon. Biff Hannon, long lost gay brother of mine. Thank you. And um, our special band for this evening is Choke, three members of Choke anyway. Yay! A little bit later, a harump, buddy, you. A little bit later we'll be hearing, uh, or be seeing and hearing them live at the Capitol. It was filmed a couple months ago. It was, uh, Good show. You won't be seeing the parts where we touched and licked them. <laughs> Fondled them. Um, but there's a guy missing from Choke. His name is Jay. And well, he just We're not even to, supposed to mention it. He got chicken pox or he quit the band or something. Uh, so that's all my questions. What are we going to ask? Oh, is this an interview? Yeah. Oh, I thought we were going to use Well, uh, <laughs> these guys used to be called Preppy Horde, right? Oh yeah. So what? Back oh, in the days. What inspired the name change? Just the whole band might have changed. We had like six people. We had an old guitar player that used to sing for us, and he quit. And then we had another singer, and then we got rid of him and just changed the whole nine nights. Not that we missed him. And then they were I mean, choke we sixty six, right? Choke sixty six. Yeah, choke sixty six. Because there were six guys in the band, or what? No, just because no, there was like we wanted to separate it from. There was like three other bands that were named Choke. We started like a yeah. band in New Jersey and a band in DC that named Joe. Brazil 66. Yeah, Sergio Mendel. Yeah. And Brazil that Brazil whole thing. Sergio the dad of Brazil 77. Oh, that's that's really cool. <laughs> it's a hot thing. So yeah, but no, you just totally blew your reason for why calling yourself Choke 66. Now you're calling yourself Choke. Are you going to change your name again? Or? Mm -hmm. No, it's just short for Choke. Well, we put 66 on our tape just to. Six 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 or six six. We like six, it six six six. six, 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 six oh, good. Six, six, six. I hate this. We should inter <laughs> interrupt them. Be no, chumming up with the same worshippers. Uh, all we had before. Well, <laughs> no, if we don't listen to the best stuff anymore. Yeah. Well, that was, well, listen, that was introduce, from you listen, introduce each other, or, or not each other yourselves. Let's start right here with this guy. I'm what Tony, do you do? I'm Tony. I play bass. And the guy in the middle is. Um, Magic Dusty, Jack. I play drums. You guys got to speak up. What was that again? Dusty, I play drums. And? And Ryan, I play guitar. <laughs> he's got a cold, so we're not going to make him talk too much. Yeah. yeah. He's got, you yeah. can't see it, it's off camera, but he's got yeah. this big box full of Kleenex. Oh, not. Some kind of puffs, I guess, here. You're not supposed to say that. You're not supposed to say that. That's a product, it's product endorsement. It's like you're not supposed to say <laughs> this or this. <laughs> And uh, these are generic cigarettes. That's right. <laughs> um, yeah, what else? You know? So if you don't listen to Misfits anymore, what do you listen to now? Uh, Just a joke? War. War? War. Yeah, I like war. How do you feel about Larry Bird's retirement? It sucks. It's about time. Is it old? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we got one, like, yes, no, and then I don't know. Well, that's cool. That sort of covers the whole spectrum. At least they're all pretty thinking young males, but are following each other's lead. Yeah, wh See, what do you uh, think about the Flint like music scene in general? It's great. It's just great. Now be honest. <laughs> be honest. Any bands that you don't like? <laughs> yeah, Chas. Mm -hmm. Come on. We like them all. There's we lots like of bands that we like, though. Such as? Multiple Jenny. Multiple Jenny. You like the Multiple Jenny? Yeah. Yes. Multiple Jenny. And, uh... And, uh Let's see. What band do I don't yeah. like? Oh. Uh, How about <laughs> over here? Oh, that's product endorsement, Kansas. All product endorsement. Well, anyways, let's let's see what these choke guys can do on tape and on a stage with instruments in it's their sure, hand. And certainly not half as lame as they are being interviewed. They're, they're just they're they just, just shy guys, line. you know. They yeah they they, they rock out. So this is choke yeah. recorded at the Capitol Theater and it's a near past. With Larry Bird on lead vocal. That's right. It's rock and roll beginning.
Okay, this next one's called No Right. Many weeks I pondered, amazed at my disgrace. Left wing, pro choice, right pro life, but I don't even know my place. Choices I was given, all shared their deadly cause. Take one life or ruin. I know you 
some dummy wrote, got those lyrics in my head today, which also happened today where I lost memory. So that's my dumb excuse, but I hope you like it. I have grown accustomed to the way it covers me. Each time I walk the top of the food of the sand oceans and the gate at the fear and the almighty humans are the cause. But things that have come to this, nobody thinks anymore. kids, I'm having fun. This 
hand points the way to an experience human eyes have never before seen. Earlier this evening, I saw what looked like a small meteor drop into the desert not far from here. You mean it could have been a spaceship? Robert Clark is the scientist caught between vicious gangsters and the astounding sea monster. Here is a power that frightens the deer in the forest, terrifies fearless dogs, a woman so intriguing that her face and figure fascinate every man. The woman whose warmth consumes. But the astounding she-monster is no more to be feared than beasts of our own underworld. In case you get any more cute ideas, If you're not too afraid, make a date with the woman you'll never forget. A woman impervious to bullets. Beyond any terror ever known, five of the screen's greatest horror thrill stars, Basil Rathbone, Akim Tamirov, Lon Chaney, John Carradine, Bella Lugosi, and these beautiful women in their power. <laughs> Pass through a madman's hellfire. Enter an ancient abbey's secret passage into the most terrifying tortured dungeon from the medieval past. Shocking victims of a famous brain specialist gone berserk. Plunging you into a reign of terror. That's terrible, Fluid. But that means this man is alive. Yes, alive. This is criminal. Monstrous. Let go! Why not use her? Put her on the black sleep. Take her up to surgery at once. A horror beyond belief. Feeding on beauty. Lusting to claw the world apart.
We're back. I'll say it. We're back. <laughs> yeah. Great footage, huh? And other stuff. And uh, so Ben's got a question. Yeah, quickly, I just wanted to find out. I just heard about this uh, while we were sitting around here talking politics. Uh, apparently, somebody in the band here got beat up just before the show we taped uh, downtown. I'm, it's totally new to me, so why don't you explain this? Our singer, Jay, got jumped right before the show. He's walking across the Don Donuts to get a donor. And about 15 guys ran over to him. One guy jumped out of the crowd of the guys and hit Jay really hard in the face. And Jay fell, bounced Rich his face off the too. ground. Jay, yeah. Jay bounced his face off the ground, got back up, got hit again, then went to the hospital. It's kind Who of, are these hooligans? Just some uh, guys that guys got off the bus. bus. Got off. Guys stop, stop, stop the bus. That's, that's a new gang. <laughs> that's a new gang in town. I hear they're really brutal. The bus guys guys ride, the bus ride, the bus ride the bus. They even got jackets. Don't even that. mess <laughs> with these guys. Guys well, who ride the bus. Were they just trying to rob him or what? No, no they just wanted to beat him up. Just beat him up for the hell of it, huh? Well, I think yeah. we all feel that way, but you yeah. need to carry two of them. Which may explain. But then, why didn't he like forget some lyrics during the show? And, yeah, yeah, and he kind of just, days, yeah. He, got, he really got hurt. Bad. We'll he went to the hospital. He went to the hospital. That's why we played last. Hours. We played about 1 o'clock at night when he got back from the hospital. He just got out of yeah, intensive care. He's a gay boy. Well, he went on stage and. Did his thing despite multiple head wounds. Why were you out there like helping peel these guys off? <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't see it. I was, I was in the I bar was, and they uh, don't have windows. <laughs> <laughs> I was <laughs> under the cover of safety. Otherwise, I'd have just kicked A. There's mosquitoes and, out here too. Yeah. But we didn't bring any well, right guard. That's what we didn't bring. Oh, yeah. Um, so, did you guys, you guys didn't mention your uh, musical influences, did you? Mm -hmm. I mean, do you have any? None of you, you guys. Oh, yes, yeah, thank you. Big gay men on campus. Yeah. 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 And there's bands that I like, but we don't sound like none Yeah, we're we're all all have we all have different influences. Very different. Well, well, I'm I'm on which is why every song we write sounds different. Everyone sounds the same. How was your tape every doing? Day. I like that tape a lot. I played it a couple times on the radio show. Yeah, That's, we, we it's, it's, it's doing pretty good. Right, I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah. we're doing it ourselves. Yeah, yeah. 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 that's no, what I'm trying to say. Thanks. Yeah. We can give a guy the plug that's uh, recorded for you. We're no busy. plugs. Um, okay, but Mark something from Holly. Yeah, I from can't from say MB recording. Like an MB re production. MB yeah. yeah. recording studio. Because I've seen him, he's done a couple of things locally, I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who Mark somebody? Yeah. Mark B from uh, Holly MB Productions. We record it. Well, we're trying to. Re we record it seven nights too. At the Detroit School of Music with one of our friends from Detroit that met us, and it's not mixed yeah. yet. I don't know if we're gonna put it out or not, but we record one. So who's so taking over? We're, we're trying to deal with money right now. With who's, who's gonna take over the singing chores? Um, I am. Yes. Hey, he did sing yeah, with he us did sing before. With Oh, that's and the last that's so drunk. <laughs> <laughs> what was the song? Cocaine. Oh yeah, yeah all that. That's pretty hard. Yeah. 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 <laughs> going to do that. <laughs> and forget about it. <laughs> forget about it. <laughs> We'd like to forget about it too. Right. <laughs> there stands the glass. Well, our four minutes are up for this segment, and uh, we're gonna go back to some live music, and then figure out what to say for our next two-minute interview. Enjoy this. This show.
like shit, but at least I don't look like shit like you do. Why is it called number 11? It's a special... I don't know. Special little song. Special pretty little song. Like I'm trying to waste time because I'm tired. Hi, kids. Having a good time? How many of you are at the movies right now?
Mountain I've come to the one I've had to climb. You'd rather see your friends than hang out with me. The person I was once was to hide.
off on your base. <laughs>
Look up in the brassy sky and there they are like gloomy pocket change. You bet on something you wish you had 10,000 to bet on. Something where the odds are good. Betting all those stars you don't win. Ish, not even a dollar. And there is a movie and another movie. At least she is not ugly, really. And she shares, you know. Or if something wrong happens, you know she will. You are asking me now if this is the whole world, and I am saying it is. Check your own fucking eyes. Doesn't it hurt looking down the sidewalk at night? If that mountain falls on me, it's gonna fall on you too. And the cops squashed in their cars, gurgling into their dead microphones, an ocean of mud. I had a girlfriend, and I never had a car. New jeans that I wore and wore. And I was not good with the plans, because no one could have planned it like this. But then... The same, you might say, is true of whoever is responsible for history. And a wide black belt and all sorts of hats, the stars were much more valuable when I was a boy. Now it is just what the no-no man wants that is valuable, which is green and covered with fingers. What the woman turning and twisting sees in the night of pockets on the floor while she hides only those parts of her nakedness too scarred to look at. Let's pretend she is my girlfriend for now. She is doing that sidewalk dance just for me. And there is no pain in her breasts and her bodies are not battle zones. The stars are worth a fortune. You don't have to look at TV to know. I got a little cigar and I can hear the music. It's playing right out of that door. There's a man and he's smiling, remembering. Why don't you kids go down to the beach where it's dark and we get on the bus and there's nobody else. And outside the palm trees, the houses and light. Ish, what world is that? Don't ask me to remember that I got a runny nose and the ticket taker looks from one to the other of us then to the black and whites bites a sandwich and hate the bite that sets the universe in motion a dog a man covered with fortune telling signs two in white coveralls three clean women getting out of a car going into a door one of the cops looks at me and I shake my head no Okay, we're back. Now there's a band that can real, really squeal like a piggy. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to ask this bunch of inbreeders uh, their, uh, their affections for the opposite sex. They didn't want to talk about their girlfriends. How about just women in general? Are, are you like mobbed everywhere you go? Mm, just the opposite. opposite. <laughs> You're totally like, ignored. Like, well, yeah. Used to it. We are. You don't have enough tattoos. I'm trying to know. Well, we don't have you gotta money. start. You gotta have tattoos. Well, what about like celebrity women? That's like, what kind of woman do you like? <clears throat> like Come on, you guys. Ginger or Marianne? Sherilyn Finn. Sherilyn Finn. Not Twin Peaks. Peaks. I'd have to say Yeah, her. Don uh, Wells. Yeah, I like big Don Wells. Yeah. Susan Day. Kay Lynn. I can't think of any girls. Mm -hmm. Thinking about Where sex pots that are my age. <laughs> that one right over there. Yeah, they got groovy secretaries out here at Comcast. Yeah. Mine. They pay a little bit more money. I might even consider working on it. Yeah, I just pick up papers just to watch the woman file out. So, what does uh, that have to do about band and music? I don't know. Well, what else? You guys got a seven inch coming out, maybe, or no? Hopefully. Hopefully. If we, if we can get enough here. money. We have the songs recorded. We got to mix them and then. Yeah. <laughs> if we can get the money up for it, we will. So if anybody wants to give us any money. How many songs? Just, uh, just two. Just two. Just two. Oh wait, we got business cards too, man. We gotta show them business cards. Cause so you got that focus set anyways. I got a business card. What does it say real fast? Um, it says Choke 66 767 Who do we ask? So many phone calls. Tony. Frank phone calls. Tony. With a cute little... Anyone can call. I don't have much to do. He's got a bovine picture on the front of it. Thanks for watching Take No Prisoners and... Uh, it's been a stone gas. It's been a stone gas. <laughs> and I guess that's it. Good night. See ya.
Take the-